All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are once again taking on this month's edition of the Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, aka Dokkan Battlefield here on the global side of the game. But this one is actually kind of different. It's kind of unique because um, for the first time in a long time, we actually have some new enemies to take on. In Battlefield, as you can see, level 1, the first enemy is Nappa. We also got a Kid Goten, a Pycon, and also a Good Boo, Turles, Dispo, and Topo. And a lot of people have been telling me that the final boss, the AGL Jiren, is actually pretty freaking tough. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect in today's run. I am a little bit nervous, but I think we will be okay. I think we can get through this. So without further ado, let's jump in and take on the first enemy which i believe is the nappa and uh this time i'm actually gonna take people's advice and use my ginyu force team to beat the first enemy people keep telling me this in like previous runs but i never listened um but i think it's actually a good idea because i want to save all my good units for later on especially against the jiren where i brought a super tech team and an extreme tech team just in case right so let's go with ginyu force team uh, here first, so I'll go with uh, obviously the tech Ginyu. Uh, the sub lead will probably be the kid Gohan, right? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and the rest of the team is the Ginyu Force members. There we go. Um, I'm not really sure how hard Nappa is to be honest, but since he's the first enemy, you know, Ginyu Force should be enough, right? And the next time this comes around, I'll definitely bring the team Bardock because it seems like it's it seems to be a better version of the Ginyu Force team. And also Team Bardock is just cooler than Ginyu Force. So we'll do that next time. But this time we have Ginyu Force. Let's see how we fare here. Uh, pretty solid first rotation actually. But I'm curious to see how hard the kid Gohan gets hit at the end. Okay, so we took 108. Not too bad. And yeah, you know, we're not, we're not hitting super hard, but it doesn't look like Nappa's gonna hit us super hard either, so it might take a little bit longer than we'd like it to, but I'm sure we'll get through it. And if Gohan's doing okay too. All right, 735k crit. Ooh, we're taking normals for 25k, though. That's not what you want. That is definitely not what you want. Uh, we're getting supered in the first slot. It looks like the tankiest would be well, actually, it looks like Raccoon has the highest defense, but uh, I know that Kinyu actually has damage reduction, so he probably makes a lot more sense here. So we'll go with that. And let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys found this specific battlefield. Um, it should be quite a bit harder than the previous one, since Jiren, I've heard, is harder than Boo was, right? So... I guess I'll find out for sure in a second. But let me know how you guys fared. Did you guys have trouble? Did you guys still beat it with no problems? All right, obviously a big part of uh, these runs is RNG, right? Like I've had runs where, you know, I had no issues the entire time and just like completely cleared it, right? Like it was nothing. And then I've had other runs where it wasn't necessarily harder. It was just like I had really bad RNG and I didn't get crits, I didn't get additionals and I got supered on the wrong units and all that stuff. So, uh, like I said, a big part of, I guess, Dokkan in general is just luck. Speaking of luck though, how did you guys do on the AGL Bardock banner? I also wanna hear about that. Um, I personally haven't summoned yet. I don't know if you guys have noticed on the channel, no summoning video for AGL Bardock yet because I'm saving all my stones for an upcoming collab with uh, someone I've never collabed with. That's all I'll say for now. You guys can go ahead and guess in the comments if you want, but I'm not going to reveal it at the moment because I want it to be a surprise. But it's someone that's very much well respected in the Dokkan community, someone that I've talked about a lot on this channel, but never actually had, you know, on this channel before. All right, that's all, all I'll say. I'll leave it at that. Uh, go crazy with your imaginations and You'll find out very soon. You'll find out very, very soon. Okay, so for this one, let's go with the extreme int team. Uh, I'm not really that afraid of this Demon King Piccolo, so I guess it doesn't really matter who we bring. This is probably overkill. It's definitely overkill. 
But better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. What is going on? Whoa, hold on. Let me try to fix this. Let me try to fix this Elgato connection issue. One sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect it. We're gonna reconnect it. And we should be good to go. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna move. Because I feel like if I like just tap the cable, it's gonna disconnect again. I need to get a new cable. That's the main issue. I think my cable's like all messed up because uh, I've been having a lot of connection issues these days, guys. All right, um, dude, I definitely don't want to put Kid Boo at the end, but does it even matter, to be honest? Like, does, does it really matter? Mm, okay, you know what, let's put him there. Let's give these to Cell. Uh, Kid Boo with the super awesome. Yo, I just wish Kid Boo had some key links, man. He's such a good unit um, in other aspects. Like, he heals, he hits really hard, all that stuff, but they just straight up shafted Kid Boo by not giving him any key links. It makes no sense to me. I don't understand why they designed him that way. <sighs> oh wow. Four mil crit from from Cell? Okay. Alright. So so far so good. So far so good. Um, but then again, I didn't really expect it to be that hard up until the final boss. Um the only guy that's probably going to give us issues in today's video is the Jiren. Uh, so I'm, I'm preparing myself for that. But it's good to have like some easy runs here, some easy stages. That's to just to get my confidence up, right? Just to prepare myself for that for that final boss. Okay, so Kid Goten reduces received damage, grants immunity to being stunned, and disables defense reduction. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, and of course, we'll just go with a mono team. That's type of bandage, so... Uh, AGL Extreme. Wait, did I just use my Extreme AGL team? Wait a second, did I not bring Extreme AG? Wait, are we fighting any other STR guys in a bit? Let me see, let me see. Uh, stage info. STR and STR. Yeah, what the heck? Why, why did I not bring... <laughs> other extreme AGL units. How come I only have three? That's so weird. Hmm, okay. We do have a super AGL team, but that's not gonna work. Um, hmm, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, can I clear it with only three units? Is that a possibility? <laughs> Is that a possibility? Maybe, maybe. Okay, let, let, let me try to figure this out. Let me try to figure this out on the fly. Um, AGL Super, right? So if we save most of our good Super AGL team, uh, units for the next fight on, on level 3, then we should still be fine, right? So as far as leaders go, we got this guy, we got this guy, we got this guy, and actually we got this guy too. So I can use him as a sub lead. And then my other AGL leader could be like... Actually, we got a bunch of leaders. We got a bunch of leaders. Um, so let's go with these two, actually. And then I'll go with these guys. And wait, are they a super AGL? Oh, they're a super AGL, okay. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then, why don't I bring him? And then we'll bring the extreme AGL as well. Does that make sense? I mean, he is all AGL types, so these guys will benefit a little bit from the leader skill. This is such a weird team. Yo, like, <laughs> I really don't want to do this, but I messed up. Oh, you know what? He's an AGL type leader. Hold on. Okay, so why well, don't I take these guys out, and I'll put this guy here. Uh, is he also an AGL leader, or just Wicked Bloodline? No, he's extreme AGL. Okay, so going back to the super side, let's put in... SSBE, yeah? yeah? That should work. That should work. Yo, <laughs> I messed up with my initial unit selection. I think last time uh, when I did when I did Battlefield, maybe there was only one like enemy I needed to use an AGL team again, so that's why I didn't bring an extreme AGL team that time or something like that. I don't really know why. I don't really know why my units got all messed up like that, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because um, we're going to get through it. And that's all that matters, right? Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I hope. I hope. Uh, okay, so we're tanking good. We're tanking good, of course. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is a very solid tank. 
We weren't able to get the super, but maybe you can, uh, we can get an additional super or something like that. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Bit of a rough patch there, <laughs> but it's all gonna work out. And uh, next time when I do this, I'll be more mindful of my uh, units. Because I was so focused, I think, this time on just having the proper tech units for t for AGL Jiren that I didn't really even pay attention to my other types, you know? Like, I just assumed I had at least a decent mono team for every other enemy. And uh, as it turns out, it wasn't really... didn't really work out that way. Uh, okay, so... Are we gonna play this? I mean, I definitely want the AGL Goku there, but then I want a super with him too. So is it, I think it's gonna be okay if we, if we leave him there. Uh, oh, we still can't super, hold on. If we give this to Frieza, then we can drop the, oh, we can't drop the tech orbs. That, <laughs> okay, um, miscalculation once again. Miscalculation on that. Uh, that that rotation, um, 57k. That's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna get through this, guys. We're gonna get through this, guys. Now uh, let's distract ourselves a little bit. Let's talk about something else. Um, let's talk about AGL Bardock. All right, I want to give you guys my honest opinions about AGL Bardock because I've heard a lot of like mixed, you know, opinions out there, mixed views about how good he is, how bad he is, all that stuff. And I'll say honestly, he seems like a very good unit. He seems like a very good unit, but he overall just seems like a worse version, at least to me, a worse version of STR um, transforming cooler, which is not necessarily a bad thing because STR cooler is insane, right? STR cooler is amazing. But I mean, I just, I was hoping for more, you know what I mean? I was hoping that for a Saiyan Day unit, for someone that is generally like a, like the same day release generally speaking is like pretty hyped up right like people were really excited to see what it was going to be and uh I, I don't think ajo bardock really lived up to that if i'm being honest but that just that, that might just be me like i love bardock bardock is one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise don't get me wrong but i, I, don't, I don't know this unit specifically just didn't really do it for me that much like i wasn't that hyped for him and i'm currently not that hyped for him so if you guys are huge bardock fans then i'm sure you love him and you know it's totally understandable hold on do i have an extreme str team actually let's go extreme str um kind of why did i not bring extreme units this time around what is what is up with that um okay so let's go with the uh, let's go with broly and our sub lead, I guess, will be Janemba. And then I'll bring a few, like, super STR as well, I guess, just to fill out the team. Okay, um, let's go with uh, Jiren and Vegeta. Why not? Should be okay. But anyways, I, I, I messed up there. Just don't worry about it. Um, what was I talking about? Something about Bardock, right? Like, I, he just isn't that hype for me. If I'm being completely honest and that's not to say he's not a good unit I do think he's a very good unit uh, it's just to say like I don't feel that inclined to spend too many stones on him which is why I haven't really actually done a, a solo video yet right I'm waiting for my collab and it's gonna be a it's, it's gonna be a good collab it's gonna be a big collab so you guys definitely have that to look forward to on the channel but as far as like a solo video, I was just like, you know what? I don't feel like doing a solo video and a collab just because it's too many stones for this banner that I'm not even that excited for, for a unit that I'm not that excited for. Actually, I wasn't that hyped for him when I first like heard about him, first learned about him. And then I saw the banner and that just made it even worse. You know what I mean? Because the banner is pretty garbage, man. Now, I know, I know there's the... Um, there's the LR Go Bros on that banner, which is very, very tempting, but also kind of misleading because if you look at the other units on that banner, aside from the Go Bros and the Bardock, it's pretty trash, man. Like they were like, oh, we put we put Grow Bros there. Did I say Grow Bros? Go Bros. We put Go Bros there, so we can put whatever the hell we want after that, right? It's like, yo, we'll put um, 
a tech transforming Frieza, which has been featured a million times. We'll put AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who's like a million years old. We'll also put Kid Goku, who's been featured for two banners in a row now. And uh, what else was there? Oh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock too. I guess Super Saiyan 3 Bardock makes sense just because like the Bardock theme, but still, you know, super, super old category lead. So um, I, I, I just feel like the banner isn't that great. It, it, if you don't have Go Bros, it might be a lot more tempting, right? That might be a lot better for you. But for someone like me who already has Go Bros, I don't really need Go Bros at this point. Um, yeah, I, I, I just didn't really care. You know what I mean? So, uh, definitely a little bit underwhelmed by the banner. Definitely was hoping for more. And I will be summoning once again. Yo, look. look. I feel like I'm being very negative here. And... I'm not trying to be, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that for me, personally, this is not the most exciting celebration, right? And if you want to go even beyond the banner, just like the other stuff that the celebration is bringing, especially for global, um, I know a lot of people are disappointed by, by the global offerings, right? Like a lot of people are very, very much... Um, upset by the lack of content and uh yeah that's super understandable because there's really not much in the way of content not much in the way of content at all um there's, there's, there's like no new events right i mean there's battlefield it's not really a new event though there's no new story event there's a new unit but not like anything really that like the new unit is not that hype like he's not that he might be hype for some people, but he's not like super OP, is what I'm trying to say. He's not like, uh, you know, when we first saw Transforming Cooler or something like that. And aside from that, um, you know, it's just kind of a very mediocre celebration. <laughs> very, very mediocre celebration. Bandai could have done better. They definitely could have done better for Saiyan Day. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. At least for JP, they got that ultimate super battle road or is it extreme super battle or something like that. I forgot this guy actually seals you the entire time. But, so uh, is there any way to actually mitigate that? Or are we just... Yeah, is there any way to actually mitigate that? Or are we just literally killing him with normal attacks? Because I've never obviously faced these enemies before. I don't know if there's a way to like unseal yourself. That's not really a mechanic in the game, I guess, right? So I guess not. I guess you just gotta kill him with normal attacks. The good thing is he doesn't have a lot of HP and he doesn't hit hard either. So it's really just more of a minor annoyance as opposed to a, a real issue. Um, but still, this is annoying. This is, this is very annoying. <laughs> We're getting there though, guys. We're getting there, it's okay. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments what your opinions are about this Saiyan Day celebration. Uh, as I said, I think most people or many people that I've spoken to, many people that I've seen in the comments, are generally gen generally a little bit disappointed. Generally a little bit disappointed, but um, for big Bardock fans out there, this is still gonna be a good celebration, especially if you pull him. If you guys are summoning, best of luck to you. Uh, I was talking to my boy, actually, um, on Instagram, and he told me he spent over a thousand stones on both sides of the game and this dude is a big whale so he was paying for those stones right he bought these stones he bought all the sales he had over a thousand stones on both sides and apparently his favorite character in the entire franchise is bardock so he was completely okay with just going balls deep just blowing his entire load on uh, bardock right and it just didn't work out for him man <laughs> I don't want to laugh because, like, it's not funny, but he, he spent over a thousand stones on both sides, didn't pull a single Bardock on either side of the game. Like, how crazy is that? How insane is that? Okay, so obviously we're going to Super, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the Super Saiyan Forest here, and, I mean, we don't really have any options as far as the other units, so this team needs to take care of business um, in, the, in the first attempt, which I think they will. I think they will. But yeah, man, my boy, uh, Reason, Reason on, on Instagram got completely destroyed. I don't wish that upon any of you guys. Hopefully all of you had better luck than Reason. And uh, my boy Reason, yo, if you're watching this right now, I hope your luck turns around. I really am praying for you. And uh, there's always the five year anniversary, right? Yo, 
because you got shafted so hard for Bardock this time, I promise you, you will pull the LR Vegito Blue and LR Blue Gogeta within 500 stones. Both of them. I'm calling it right now. Both of them within 500 stones. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yo, Boo hits pretty hard, eh? Boo hits pretty hard. What? He just hit me for like, what was 80k on Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Wait, after we attacked too, right? I think that was after we had attacked already. Whoa, he hits really damn hard. All right, okay, so we gotta be a little bit more careful, guys. Gotta be a little bit more careful here. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta over there is okay, I think. Uh, unfortunately, he gave us a lot of candies. Um, that's okay, that's okay. Because Vegeta's not going to be hitting that hard anyways. So as long as we can super with the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And Transforming Goku. We should still be good to go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we just need him for tanking. We just need him for tanking. And he's doing that pretty well. Oh, yo, if Boo is hitting us this hard, I'm really nervous for Jiren, man. I'm very, very nervous for Jiren. If uh, this Boo is already, like, making me sweat a little bit. I can't imagine what Jiren's gonna do. That's why I brought two teams. That's why I brought two teams. I don't know if two teams are gonna be enough though. If the two teams are not enough, I just I just give up. You know, I, I just straight up I, I can't do it. <laughs> if if two teams are not enough to take down the tech Jiren, then it's just not meant to be. Uh, it's just not meant to be. This should be it though for Boo. Um, once we super with Super Saiyan Four, uh, actually no. Gogeta's gonna finish him off. There we go. AGL Gogeta putting in the work. Level 20 additional. Activating. There we go. And now we're gonna move on to... I guess Dispo. Let's do Dispo. I know Dispo has a high chance to dodge or something like that. So he's gonna be kind of annoying. Oh, may evade enemy's attack. So not necessarily high chance. So I'm hoping it's like somewhere between... 10 to 30 percent that'll be fine okay okay so super str let's go with uh super saiyan 4 vegeta super saiyan 4 goku uh let's bring ssbkk goku as well vegeta um want to bring lr vegeto now i'll save lr vegeto just in case just in case we get very very desperate and let's go with transforming namek goku uh who else? Who else? Let's bring, let's bring, let's bring Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Super Saiyan Goku. There we go. That team, that team should be okay. That team should be okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Three, three more enemies to go, and then it's Jiren, and then we're out of here. And then we're out of here. Please let this run be successful. I need it. I really do. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna leave Vegeta there. Is that a full 24? There's a full 24 key super. And then once uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku supers, he's gonna be pretty tanky as well. So not too worried about this, uh, this rotation defensively. I just really hope he doesn't dodge like all our supers. Let's see how, how likely he is to dodge. All right. Okay, so that one hits, that one lands, that one lands. That's good. Give me a crit, come on Vegeta. You know you wanna crit? No crit. Okay, that's fine. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Don't dodge this either. Come on, Dispo. Thank you. Thank you. And there's a crit. Oh, wow, he's almost dead. If uh, SSBKK lands, oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say if he if he lands that, um, it would have been game over. But unfortunately, did not. But uh, we should still be able to finish him off this turn. Man, I didn't realize how un tanky dispo was is i mean then again those were two pretty hard supers we just landed it landed on him um there you go okay so nothing to worry about with dispo he dodged one attack literally one out of four so based on my experience his dodge rate is 25 percent but i'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the range of like 30 percent but who knows doesn't really matter he's dead all right uh super fizz this time uh, let's go with, uh, who should we go with actually? Should I go with the Vegito Blue is the question. 
kind of want to save him just in case I need to put put together like a you know last minute super team or something like that to take on Jiren just take off like a tiny bit of his HP at the end so instead of using all my best units let's just bring a pretty good team in, in which case we would be bringing um, this guy of course as the one lead the other lead I could actually bring him right no he's all types 77% is he Fizz types? 100%. Oh yeah, okay, so we can bring him as a sub lead. And then 17, Vegito, him, him, and why not Vegeta? Okay. That's That's good. That's good. There's no way Turles can beat this team. Right? Right? Maybe I'm underestimating him a little bit. But based on how easy Dispo was. Um, I'm not expecting too many issues here either, but uh, we'll see if we come to regret that decision. We'll find out very, very soon. All right, let's see how hard this guy hits. 88. I like that number. That's lucky. Yo, if you guys didn't know, 8 is a very, very lucky number in China. Um, 8 to Chinese people is like the number 7 to Japanese people. As you guys see, like in Dokkan all the time, no, the number 7 is featured very prominently all the time, right? And apparently 7 is the luckiest number. Obviously, it's, it's a lucky number in a lot of places in the world, but especially in Japan, that is like the lucky number. Uh, whereas for Chinese people, uh, like me, number 8 is the luckiest. Just a random trivia for anybody that cares, which is probably nobody, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys care. I'm sure some of you guys care. All right, let's do this guys. He's a third of the way dead I think we only need about two more rotations to get this done um, Just don't please please don't super go tanks. That'd be great. Don't super go tanks. There's only one attack There's only one. There we go. Okay, yeah 20k. No problem. And we're gonna get a lot of a lot of counters here A ton of counters on the way. It's gonna be awesome. Wow, not bad, Fizz Vegito. Not bad. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna finish this, finish this guy off with a counter. One mil crit. Yo, with all these Vegitos coming out recently, I think people kind of forgot about the Fizz Super Vegito. But you shouldn't, man. This guy is still a monster. He's just been overshadowed a little bit by the other um, Super Vegitos, right? Or just the Vegitos in general, like the LR Vegito Blue, Fizz Vegito Blue. Um, even the AGL Super Vegito with his EZA I think is better now, but still Fizz Vegito if you need to use him Still very very good. Okay topo time uh, Obviously int team no super int team here and Who should we bring here? Okay, so I'm gonna save my LR Vegito just in case once again if I need him I want to have him so let's go with Gogeta. Let's go with uh, Sub lead. Who would I bring as a sub lead? What's this guy? What's this guy's leader skill? Yeah, entice give us three. That's not bad. Ninety percent. Um, I could bring Vegito, but once again, I'm not gonna use him for now. He is eighty percent. She is transformation boost or peppy gals. So that makes no sense. He doesn't have an EZA yet, so no key right there. Uh, he is seventy percent right. Yeah, that's not good. So let's bring Vegeta, Super Vegeta, as the sub lead, and then well, I'm actually, actually going to bring LR Gohan here. And uh, let's bring Ultimate Gohan, uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and UI Goku. Looks like a pretty solid team to me. All right, let's get it. Second last enemy, and then it's Jiren, and then it's Jiren. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. I know Jiren hits super, super hard. And uh, it could be a pretty bad time. Oh, why did I leave Gohan there? Oh, we're gonna take so much damage. We're gonna take so much damage. Let's see. No super. Oh, a dodge. Wow, that was clutch. 9k. Might have been worried for nothing. Uh, that was a lot less than I expected. A lot less than I expected. And 2.4 mil. Yeah, we're taking about 9k with Gohan. I know Gogeta actually is even less tanky, so let's see what he takes. If there's going to be a super, please be at the end. Oh, no. He took a normal for 15k, so this super should be 100... Oh, 77k. 
Okay, not as bad as I thought. Not as bad as I thought. So we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this topo, no problem. Um, and then and then it's Jiren, man. And then it's Jiren. I did bring a few units that are like good tanks, as well as um, good tanks, as well as what I'm trying to say, uh, some uh, uh, attack reduction uh, units as well, right? Like uh, and units that reduce the enemy's defense or sorry attack on super. So we can kind of debuff uh, Jiren a little bit so he doesn't hit as hard. But either way, he's going to be an issue. Either way, he's going to be an issue. So we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right. All right. We're getting there with Topo. Um, I got to say, like in, in general, in general, it's been okay. But these enemies do hit a lot harder than the previous batch enemies did. Um, so I would say like Battlefield definitely got harder uh, on global. There's no question about that. Battlefield definitely definitely got harder. How much harder is a question, right? But we haven't gotten to Jiren yet, so we can't really answer that question fully. Um, but like overall, just based on my experience so far with this run, harder for sure. Harder for sure. And now it's time for Jiren. Oh, actually, we're not there yet. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. But as I said, man, I brought two teams for, for Jiren, which is something I've never done before uh, for other runs previously. Right? I've always I've always just brought one team and just like use that one team to beat the final boss. And sometimes, you know, Boo could have been a pain in the ass, but he never really um, gave me too much trouble. But I'm expecting probably I will have to use two teams uh, when it comes to Jiren. I mean, part of it is because I, I know I know a lot of people they use um for for this one at least they used the uh, tech Broly right the LR tech Broly just to like nuke Jiren because he does so much damage but I don't have tech Broly so I don't have that like one super super hard hitting uh, unit on the team the, the team overall will hit pretty decently hard but it you know. <laughs> It's still, there's still no Broly, it's still, still no tech Broly, so. Yeah, here we go, guys. Yo, all the lead up has uh, brought us here to the AGL Jiren, the first Jiren enemy on global, in global's history. <sighs> let's do it, let's do it. So we're gonna start with the extreme tech team first. Um, and obviously we're gonna do Oh man, I definitely do not want to bring Tech Broly. So instead, we're going to do Tech Frieza. Um, Tech Frieza again. So double Tech Frieza, right? And then Tech Cell. Uh, I'll bring him for the healing. Does he. Re he what, not, what does he do again? 30%. Recovers 30% of damage dealt as HP. And. Should I bring him actually? Raise the attack. Shadow Dragons, uh, I don't know actually. He might be a better option than guys like Hit though, cause see, yeah, cause like Jiren can't be stunned. Um, does he reduce enemy? I think he, yeah, he lowers enemy attack, so I'm gonna go with him for the attack reduction. He greatly lowers defense. Um, a tough decision, man. Should I bring Hit or Zamasu? Hit or Zamasu? Hit is not very good when he doesn't stun the enemy. So that's why I'm like kind of unsure about him. Uh, if I, yeah, so go for black and raise defense. And then I'm actually gonna go with like Shenron because at least his stats are good, right? Yeah, okay. We're gonna go with Nova Shenron. I might come to regret this. Okay, we're jumping in, we're jumping in. First attempt at Jiren. Let's see how it goes. Yo, Jiren looking mad thick in that in that picture, man. That's a really, really thick. I mean, he's always been thick, but he looks extra thick in that one. Okay, here we go. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter how we place these guys. Uh, either way, we're not getting key, which is phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> Can we super? No, we cannot super. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, alright. Not the best first rotation. 
Not the best first rotation. Hopefully we get some additionals. Hopefully we get some additionals. Okay, 17k is okay. Yeah, 16k is okay. Um, but if we get super, man, I, I know it's gonna hurt. Yeah, look at this guy doing so much damage with his normal attacks already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Golden Frieza, please be on rotation. Thank you so much. I needed that. I needed that. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll give these HL orbs to him. Man, yo, these guys do not link well. Um, yeah, super extreme tech sucks. I hate extreme tech. All right, here we go. So, wow, we're taking 23k. At, at least the guy to get supered is the guy that needed to get supered, you know what I mean? But at the very least, like, it could have been a lot worse. 23k on Golden Frieza, though. That, that is kind of crazy. Um, once again, no links. No links at all. Uh, let's give these to him. Let's give... Oof, uh... Hmm, is there any way we can super with... I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way we can super with Boo either. This is going great. This is ex exactly how, it, how I wanted it to, to, to go. <laughs> oh my god, please let me at least survive this rotation. And... wow, 147k, and wow, okay. Okay. So our super, our super tech team did not, or our extreme tech team, sorry, did not make it. Let's try uh, super tech this time. Let's try super tech this time. Um, so super tech, I actually have a few more units that I feel like can like fare okay. You know, so let's go with, uh, let's, let's go with trunks. Let's go with, I guess super saiyan for Goku or or Go Tanks. Either way, um, they're both pretty good options. So let's go with that, and then uh, Go Frieza, Go Tanks. Um, we're gonna bring him for tank. We'll bring him just for damage, and also you know he can tank as well if you uh, give him some orbs. And then we're gonna bring him for lowering Jiren's attack. All right, here we go. Here we go, second team. I'm actually a lot more confident in this team than I was in the previous team. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, so let's put him there. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku actually is a good tank if you if you don't do his 18 key super. So, yeah, I feel good about him. Let's, let's give him just the 18 key right here. Let's give him the, wow, not 18 key there though. Yeah, but they say 18k before, so 12k for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, 12k for Go Frieza as well, okay, 12k, yeah, we took 12k there, that's not bad, that's not bad, I hope the super is not in the middle, that's, uh, this big concern right now, alright, okay, we reduced Jiren's attack a little bit, reduced Jiren's attack a little bit, Trunks, build up some defense right here, Oh wait, he doesn't stack defense until... Oh, I forgot, yeah, he doesn't stack defense until he transforms. Uh-oh. Um, okay, so... Definitely gonna put... Definitely gonna put this guy here. Uh... Oh... I forgot he doesn't get extra defense unless... Like, like a ton of defense unless he has a lot of, uh... <laughs> A lot of androids enemies. I mean, he's still gonna be the best tank on this rotation. That's for sure. So I'm still gonna leave him there. But it, it that it, things thing, things didn't exactly go according to plan. All right, let's see how much we can tank here with Android 16. 105k. Eh, you know what? That's not too bad. That's not too terrible. That's not too terrible. Okay, so, Tech Goku now. 
I'm gonna lower Chiron's attack a little bit more. Additional, please. Uh, no additional there. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, lowering his defense. Alright, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. So, um, we know, yeah, we know that Go Frieza lowers attack. But then again, we can't really get a super here. Uh, actually, we can. We can. Perfect. So, super for you. Super for you. And uh, also a nice super for Vegeta. Also some good orbs for him as well. So at the very least we can we can lower his attack one more time this turn. Maybe even twice if we get the additional. I'm really praying for that additional right now. Ah, no additional. And we're getting supered. 115k. Yeah, okay, alright. Alright. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there very slowly but surely slowly but surely all right all right all right trunks is transforming trunks is transforming that is clutch we're almost dead though so it's like does it really matter <laughs> does it really matter at this point uh hmm should i actually put with well, this he get damage reduction i don't think he does it doesn't get damage reduction. Uh, but it does stack defense. So if we don't get supered in the first slot, then we can decrease his um, attack again with Goku. Right? Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, good. Good. That was good. Man, this is tight. This is, this is going to be a really, really close fight. I, st I still got more teams, obviously. Oh, and there we go. Okay, we got more. We got more. We got more. Let's go. So, um, why don't we go with... Can I do, like, a Goku's family siblings bond team, actually? Maybe. Maybe. But, I mean, for now, I can, I can still do a super AGL, a super tech team. So, who would be the sub lead here, actually? Okay, so we got him. We got. He's all types, he plus two HP attack and defense, which you don't want. So let's go with uh, Beerus. And more of a. Less of a tanky team, more of an offensive team here. But if we can just do enough damage before he destroys us, that'd be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. All right, uh, Beerus up front, and he goes there. Okay, okay, please don't super uh, before you hit me first, at least. Don't super before you hit me first, please. There we go, okay. 1.7 mil, crit, no crit there. And the super, oh my god, he's supering so fast. Supering so fast, 135k, 32k. Alright, 1.4 mil attack. Hmm. At the very least, he's not supering us twice, right, in one turn. That, 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 I'm very thankful for that. I'm very, very thankful for that. Alright, guys. Um, yo, we actually can't super? Are you for real? Are you kidding me? Yo, we're gonna be so close yet so far. <sighs> we need we need some more key. I mean, if we additional actually, if we additional like if the additional super is a crit, then or or is a super, then we should still be able to finish year enough. I think. I think the additional is a normal attack. And another additional is also a normal attack. Oh, thank you. Thank you, RNG. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <sighs> My god. Okay. Yo, can can Vegito, can you super? We got this. 
we got this. We, st we, st we still got, we still got, what? We still got a bunch of stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, so we can go with like the double uh, all types lead. And then we'll go with Gogeta, Vegito, uh, Vegito Blue. Oh, it's gonna be a stack team. It's gonna be a stack team. Okay, Vegito Blue. And uh, what else we got? Okay, let's go with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just cuz. Um, and and finally Goku. There we go. Okay, we just need a little bit more damage, right? We just need a little bit more damage. Okay, this is not the great. Actually, yeah, we'll put him there. There, uh, that's probably the best, right? 24 key, yeah, there we go. And uh, this should do it. This should do it. Should be over after this. Please, I can't. I have no more teams. This is my last team. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, at the very least, we know we can't. We're not gonna die. And there we go. Godku will finish Jiren off once and for all. Yes, he does. Oh, we did it. We did it, guys. Yo, it took three teams. It took three teams. But we got it done. So, uh, I can confirm. Yo, Jiren is a lot harder than Kid Buu ever was. And this is like the first Jiren. I think maybe Jiren gets even harder later on. Like, like every single time he comes out, maybe he gets a little bit harder. A little bit harder. I could be wrong. Yo, this final stage took me 9 minutes and 19 seconds. 9 minutes and 19 seconds to clear this one fight. But you know what? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all good. We got it done. And that's all that matters, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to fight Jiren again for, uh, <laughs> for the rest of... Actually, I, I have to clear some missions. Okay, so we're going to probably fight Jiren at least one more time. Never mind, at least two more times to get the, the Kai here. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera where I can, like, think a little bit more clearly without having to worry about, like, what I'm doing on camera, you know what I mean? So, uh, we got it done. That's all that matters, man. That's all I care about right now. We, we cleared it. We cleared it. Let's pick up our stones. That's, uh, are there missions? Do we clear some missions? Oh, there's no missions. Okay, never mind. So, we got our stones. About 30 stones in total. We, uh, got our battlefield memory. Do I have enough for the LR King Cold, actually, and Mecha Frieza? I should. I should. There we go. Yeah. Okay, 500k. So, um, should I do it? Yeah, I should definitely do it. What am I talking about? I should def- Oh. Hold up. Let me let me sell some Hercules stack. Oh, I have no space. Um, give me one sec. Let's, uh, you know, it, it, it was about time. It was about time I did this anyway. So, let's go to the... The shop here, add some more character slots, cause... Did my game just crash? Are you kidding me? The game was like, yo, you sucked so much in Battlefield against Jiren that we just don't want you to play anymore. <laughs> the developers are literally like, yo, Tiger, you gotta chill, you gotta stop, alright? That was terrible. It was, it was, but uh... Oh, maybe it was telling me to not do that. Maybe it was telling me that I needed to... Um, save my save my stones instead of buying inventory space. So you know what? Let's uh let's actually just give one of these sleepy guys to to my kid Gohan. By the way, this got this kid got like a crazy. Of course, it didn't work. Of course, it didn't work. This kid got a crazy extreme Z awakening on JP. Um, so that's why I'm trying to build him up right now. I, d I didn't really pay attention to him before, but now he deserves your attention for sure because he he's crazy now. But uh, let's buy. This King Cold and Mecha Frieza, there you go. And uh, I'm gonna work on powering them up for you guys, and then uh, probably a showcase sometime soon. All right, there you go. LR number, what is it? LR number, oh, I can just sort by LRs. Okay, LR number 42. 42 LRs in total. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below how many LRs you guys have in your box at the moment. Your boy Tiger has 42. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Obviously, I don't have all of them. I think in total there's like 50 plus now. I mean, at least on JP. Global should have at least close to 50. So I'm missing quite a few, but um, this is what I got right now. Not too shabby. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me as I uh, struggled, but ultimately succeeded. And that is 
all that matters at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your run as well. If you have any trouble, um, feel free to leave something down below. I'll try to get to it, but if I don't, then maybe someone else in the comments will help you out. Or you can join my Discord server, which is uh, also in the description down below. Um, we have a team building kind of section there, so maybe you can ask people there about your teams for Jiren. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. What did I say? Thank you so much for watching. Sometimes my words get jumbled up. And uh, <laughs> as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.